This piece is about the aspect in life called Hashkacha Pratis or Divine Providence, which is basically where everything happens for a reason and appreciating what God gives you as for the good. My piece is about seizing an opportunity. So it was, I was questioning whether or not to come back to Tsohar and um, it's, <laughs> it's represented through like this vessel of cold water and it's like a new experience and like something that you'd be hesitant to go towards and um, really what separates you from the experience is the threshold of the top of the water. In the water is a glowing orb which represents Tsoha or an opportunity and um, my hand going into the water is showing that like it goes past the threshold of like doubt and hesitation and like going in and taking what could be amazing. My paintings represent the Hasidic concept of Shvira Kalim, which means the shattering of the vessels. God intentionally put his infinite light into finite vessels so that it metaphorically shattered. Those shattered pieces fell into our world as infinite godly sparks. And our job is to elevate those sparks and bring about a new world with the same intense divine energy, but this time with the ability for our physical world to be a vessel for it. Each one of us goes through a similar process. We start our life whole and then some of our experiences shatter us. Our goal is to pick up those shattered pieces and recreate ourselves to have a stronger connection to Hashem. So there's a concept in Chassidus that the main difference between an animal and a human is that animals are emotion driven and humans pride themselves on das and intellect. It's important not to fall back on the comfort of our emotions and to realize this power, this tool that we have of intellect and to utilize it to living a purposeful life and to help us grow. My painting is about the concept of chachma and gaining knowledge and understanding other people's intellect and overall about um, my personal um, journey in um, gaining knowledge in the fact that we all have free choice and that nothing that we do is because we need to and we do the things that we do because we would like to and because we want to not because we're forced to and I think that the best way to do Tara and Mitzvos is if it's really coming from within you and you know to find whatever it is that helps you connect with that mitzvah so that way you are able to fulfill it and actually be very happy about it too. My painting is more than just an acrylic painting that was put onto a canvas. It's an imprint of my very soul. It's really easy to lose God in this harsh world, which is represented by the harsh waters on the painting. We have to remember that there, God's here. God is right above us. He has this key to open up our hearts so that we can truly love and embrace Him but we have to reach out to him so that he can come into our heart, into our life. Once we become receptive of this idea of God, our mind will properly be able to rule over our heart in the correct way and they will be able to rule in unison and to serve God in the most and proper way. Innately the world is a beautiful place, um, but people tend to tie it down with things that don't make it so beautiful like things that they get addicted to or things that they worship. When you untie yourself from these things that hold you down, you can see the true meaning, of the true beauty of this world. So um, this is a self-portrait and um, it depicts two sides of me of growth that I experienced this year and also um, a process of growth in general. On the first side, it's um, black and white, a just do it mentality. There's a flower that shows um, this kind of like superficial, light, pretty growth. It's pretty realistic, pretty grounded. And then as I moved on in So Heart, it shows a, a lot more um, of a creative, colorful um, form of self-expression. 
and there's a tree which shows like a more of a deeply rooted um, growth. And I saw that this is more of a cycle instead of moving from one stage to other of once you have um, this appreciation for like the love and the colorfulness of Placidus and, and whatever, you're able to move back to the just do it mentality and maintain that balance. And on top, there's two crowns, Nasa and um, Nishma, um, doing and hearing. And it just shows the importance of, of both of them, of, of really listening and appreciating, but also um, doing the mitzvahs and having a love for it. My painting is about the tension we experience in our lives between transcending oneself and being open to a greater power in our lives, which in Hasidic terminology is called bittol, while also retaining a unique sense of uniqueness and identity. So it's this back and forth dynamic relationship, a uh, Ratzay and Shov relationship, um, between a finite self and infinite potential. So in my painting, the girl is reaching upwards, signifying her openness to her relationship with God and her openness to his guidance in her life. But at the same time, she is firmly rooted in the ground, symbolizing her awareness of her talents and her capabilities and her unique voice and purpose in this world. We specifically need this aspect of self, of self-awareness because God specifically wants a relationship with beings of self, um, not angels who are completely selfless. Um, and in my painting, the girl is completely self-aware and completely celebrating herself and she's dancing. And when one can gain a balance between these two aspects, between retaining selfhood and transcending selfhood, that's when one gains true freedom and can really express their true potential. So I chose to symbolize this through an arabesque because, which is a ballet um, move, because I really thought that it symbolizes this feeling of freedom and taking control and of one's life with like passion and joy. In my painting, I have tried to depict the two opposing forces we have within ourselves, namely the cool tranquility of our of our intellect and reasoning and the passionate turmoil of our emotions. So in my life, I am really working towards creating a balance between the two by taking my cool intellect and infusing it with things I'm passionate about and things that make me excited and then taking my raw passions and excitements in this in this life and channeling them in the right way through reasoning and intellect. 